before daylight. And one just a little bit too long. shot and she ducked because they were on edge for some reason. I don't know if the wind swirled or what, but they were on extreme edge. So, I took the first opportunity I had when I shifted in my seat. She busted me. And in the, go, in the shot footage, you'll see she ducked a little bit and that arrow hit her clean behind the shoulder and the spine and it dropped her and I stuck another one in her as fast as I could. She was done within seconds. So, now we got some work to do cutting and gutting. We'll uh, get back to you when we get down there to her. Alright, we were out of the tree. Ladder stand goes up there and we got this big old birch. I thought it gave me enough cover to stand, but it didn't. Because every time I started to move, they got nervy. I would say let's go pick up the blood shell, but I read one. Like I said, she ducked really hard. She got in this little low cover spot. Nice, big, healthy doe. Set the bow down. I wonder where my other arrow is. Probably in the dirt somewhere. And pop her again. Uh, yeah, I'd say that got her. Ah, I love rage broadheads. Trying to find another arrow. But I'm not seeing it. Oh, I just see it. Just saw it. I shot her through the top and it came all the way over here. Oh. Show focus. Perfect. Okay. Put these arrows up. I'm gonna try to get this one out of her back, and uh, we'll get her drug home and processed. Big straps, baby. Yeah, buddy. It is finally deer season. I am stoked. And this is only my third hunt, so thanks for watching. Hopefully, the next time you see us, we'll be shooting a bear or a buck or another doe, because I got a bunch of doe tags. So, and we need to take a bunch of does off here. So. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.